if you are a healer, if you are a traditional doctor, if you have something to offer to the world and you are feeling shame for offering it as a service, if you're feeling like, oh no, I'm not good enough. No, I need to learn more. No, I don't have the time. No, I don't have the resources, the money to put into this. I want you to look deeper into those things that you're saying and what is valid in your heart what is true for you and what is just bs programming what did you learn from your family like oh no art is not a profession you can't be an artist writing is not a profession or you have to work hard you have to sweat your hands have to bleed if it's real work so what is that programming and then going deeper and looking at not only family culture, but the culture in general. What is your historical legacy as a people? I know for myself, indigenous folks have been through indoctrination. We've had to find ways to survive and to renegotiate the terms of our existence over and over and over, right? Survival. Survival is a big theme for us. And I was tired as hell all the time. Um, I started working donation based and I was still tired as hell. Then I started uh, putting a price tag on my services and I was still overworked, tired as hell all the time. Um, and it was chaotic. It's chaotic to live in constant stress. It's chaotic to be in a space where you're not being fed what you need to be fed. What I did was I called in uh, Dream Inspired Design. I think this was about 2011 and I got a quote and I wasn't ready, you know. So I didn't talk to them for another maybe year or two until I divorced from my previous relationship and then went solo and was like, I'm living my life for myself. I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to do what I find in my heart to be. Um, my highest calling, even though it was risky, being a single mom, paying rent on my own, taking care of the kids for the most part on my own, um, buying my own food, just being a single mom. I started video programs, I started online courses, everything that I was teaching in person. I was able to figure out ways to have a background as a videographer, so I was able to uh, figure out ways to different platforms for me to do that online. And then I started traveling more because guess what? If you have um, a partner who's holding you back and you know providing or giving you uh, butting heads every time you want to do something, that makes your job harder and you kind of want to give up. So I was like, hey, I have nothing holding me back. I'm going to travel. I traveled once a month for three years straight, you know, until I finally learned that the rest of the country kind of sucks in the winter. And so now I only travel. Um, summer and spring because Kelly's where it's at sorry staying here and so yeah so I had to learn how to trust in the universe Tr take a trust fall a huge trust fall I called dream inspired design they gave me a quote and I was like yeah sure can I uh, get some payments on that you know so they were like oh yeah they worked with me um, and I left them a deposit and that was all I had all I had was a deposit and I was like you know what like I have a good feeling about this I like them they're friendly they're super there for me they made me feel like I was their only client even though I know you know I saw the other work that they had um, in the community they're local to Long Beach here um, so I knew they were doing other work but I really felt like they were giving me um, the attention the responses the support that I was needing and I finally got that and it felt so good and, you know, when I'd mail them the check, I'd give them a little card and a little note, you know, and it was really, really, a really a cute exchange. Um, and yeah, every time another payment was due, bam, I'd get the money in my account. I didn't have extra cash before that, but all I had to do was manifest one with my heart, with my womb, with my mind. Like, this is what I want to do. This is what's right for me. And then take the physical steps, right? Because the non-physical and the physical are both the same part of one, right? They're both a part of you. And so I took those steps and I'm here now.
I do what I love and my kids are happy. I homeschool them. I have time to travel still. I have time to teach and massage and help folks and it's really um, taking the risk, um, being a mover, being okay, being a mover and a shaker um, and knowing that I'm resilient, knowing that shit, if this fails, if they do my website and my branding and they put all this stuff together, together for me, if I still fail, I'll recover. I'll still be good, you know. Just wanted to share that with you. Again, it's Fankatsani of Indigimama Ancestral Healing. Know that you are resilient. You are worthy and trust yourself.